If you exercise more than 30 minutes a day, you need extra vitamins and minerals for optimal health. We will discuss the top 7 supplements that physically active people and professional athletes should take, as well as the top foods that may compensate for this vitamin and mineral deficiency and are safe and healthy for everyday intake. Generally, exercise is beneficial, and the benefits significantly outweigh the risks. However, everything has its limits. Problem 1 is that during exercise, oxidative stress and free radicals are created, which can damage cells. This oxidative stress is particularly high during intense exercise. The ideal duration is up to one hour of moderate intensity exercise, as this is considered most beneficial with minimal oxidative stress and maximal benefits. The second problem is that intense exercise temporarily decreases immune system function, a phenomenon called the open window. During this time, a person can easily get upper respiratory infections. This immune system suppression lasts several hours after exercise, up to two days, depending on the intensity and duration of the exercise. To minimize this risk, exercise sessions should be around 30 minutes to one hour. We should address these negative effects if you exercise intensively, which is why supplementation is required. The first and most important supplement for people who work out regularly is protein powder, around 20 to 30 grams per day. It is crucial for repairing and building muscle tissues, especially within the two-hour period after exercise, known as the anabolic window. During this period, muscle growth is accelerated if protein intake is sufficient. In this context, protein acts like bricks when building a wall. Protein also helps reduce muscle soreness and accelerate recovery. This amount of protein is safe for most people. However, protein may not be suitable for those with kidney problems. If a person consumes high levels of protein, they should regularly check kidney function, particularly blood creatinine and glomerular filtration rate. If you prefer whole food instead of protein powders, then chicken breast is the best alternative for long-term intake. Cooked 3 ounces of chicken breast contains around 25 grams of protein. Another option is eating around 3 eggs, which provides about 18 grams of protein, although regular intake of a high amount of eggs requires cholesterol monitoring due to their high cholesterol content. Greek yogurt is another option, with around 20 grams of protein per cup. For long-term intake, it's best to choose non-fat or low-fat versions. Lentils are also a good alternative, with one cup of cooked lentils containing around 18 grams of protein. The second most important supplement is omega-3 fatty acids, particularly EPA and DHA, which have anti-inflammatory properties that help reduce exercise-induced inflammation, aiding recovery and reducing muscle soreness. Omega-3S can improve recovery from exercise by reducing muscle damage and oxidative stress. One gram of combined EPA and DHA omega-3 fatty acids is usually safe for almost all adults for long-term intake. Higher dosages are also possible in some cases. However, more than 3 grams per day is not recommended due to the increased risk of bleeding because of its blood-thinning effect. Omega-3 deficiency is more common in endurance athletes, like marathon runners and long-distance swimmers, due to high oxidative stress. Regular intake of fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines can compensate for omega-3 deficiency. Consuming these fish twice a week is usually sufficient. Per 100 g, they typically contain more than 1,000 mg of omega-3, with mackerel containing up to 1,500 mg. From plant-based foods, chia seeds, flax seeds, and walnuts contain significant amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, but they need to be converted into DHA from ALA, which is less effective compared to fish. Walnuts are particularly rich in omega-3, containing about 2,500 mg per ounce. The third most common supplement is vitamin D. It is important for bone health, immune function, and muscle function. The recommended daily intake is 1,000 to 2,000 IU, depending on individual needs and sunlight exposure. 
A vitamin D blood test or calcium check is important if a person exercises intensively. It's difficult to get sufficient vitamin D from food alone, as eggs contain some vitamin D, but in low concentrations. Fish contains a reasonable amount. For people who work out with quick, explosive movements such as weightlifting, sprinting, and other forms of high-intensity interval training, creatine is beneficial. It enhances muscle strength by increasing the availability of ATP, which is crucial for short bursts of high-intensity exercise. It also aids in fast recovery. The usual dosage is 3 to 5 grams daily, regardless of the timing relative to exercise. Consistent daily intake is key to maintaining muscle creatine saturation. For athletes, creatine is important because about 2 pounds of beef are needed to obtain 5 grams of creatine. Creatine is not the same as creatinine. Creatine is important for energy production in muscles, while creatinine is a waste product formed after creatine breaks down and is used to measure kidney function. Normally, a daily intake of 2 to 5 grams of creatine shouldn't significantly affect creatinine levels in the blood unless there is compromised kidney function. BCAAs, branched-chain amino acids, are another important supplement. They help reduce muscle soreness and prevent muscle breakdown. A recommended intake of 5 to 10 grams before or after exercise is suggested. BCAAs, specifically leucine, isoleucine, and valine, decrease muscle breakdown during prolonged or intense exercises. BCAAs are generally safe for long-term use at recommended doses, 5 to 10 grams before or after exercise. According to current medical knowledge, they are considered safe. Eating meat, fish, and poultry can replace the need for BCAAs. If a person is already consuming protein powder, additional BCAA supplementation is usually not recommended because high-quality protein powders contain sufficient amounts of all essential amino acids. However, this is not the case with creatine. Magnesium is another essential supplement for muscle contraction and relaxation. It also plays a role in the production of ATP. Magnesium is considered safe for long-term intake up to 350 mg daily. Muscle cramps and spasms are common among athletes, and in many cases, they can be a sign of magnesium deficiency, which can also cause fatigue and weakness. Magnesium is important for the nervous system, and low levels can contribute to increased stress. Magnesium can be obtained from leafy greens, spinach, almonds, brown rice, black beans, fish, and dark chocolate. Another important supplement is vitamin C, as it acts as an antioxidant during exercise, especially intense exercise. Physical exercise generates free radicals, and in athletes, vitamin C deficiency is common. Regular intense training can also suppress the immune system, making athletes more susceptible to infections. Vitamin C is known to support immune function, potentially reducing the risk of upper respiratory infections common in athletes. For the general population, vitamin C intake should be around 90 mg, while for professional athletes, it should be around 300 mg, preferably under 500 mg high intake of vitamin C, especially more than 1000 mg, can increase the risk of kidney stones. Therefore, it is recommended to keep intake below 1,000 mg per day. Foods like oranges and other citrus fruits are good sources of vitamin C. One medium orange contains 70 mg of vitamin C. Strawberries contain 60 mg per 100 grams, and kiwi, bell peppers, and green vegetables are also rich in vitamin C. The vitamin C intake after exercise is most effective in reducing oxidative stress and immune system suppression.